Good morning everybody and how are you? My name's Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small business in Mansfield called The Flower Patch. Um, I just want to say again welcome to all the new subscribers and uh, thank you again for subscribing. It really is heartwarming and it does mean a lot to me and uh, I hope you enjoy the videos and it gives you some sort of ideas what to do or some inspiration and a few giggles along the way of things that I've done or things that have fell over because I don't I don't cut and edit my videos so I like you to see when I go wrong you know how I rectify things um, right today um, my friend has said uh, when I was chatting with her on the phone last night that she'd like me to do a candle the candlesticks that I have in my workshop um, any colour she's not particularly bothered just to give her an idea if she wants to dress her candlesticks up so I've decided to do blue and silver um, this is the candlestick I've got a pair but I'm only going to do one and I've already placed the bow on. Um, that's what it looks like from behind, um, where it's got the swirly bit on it. And I've got two of them. Uh, the first loop that I did in silver is a five inch. The blue Christmas one uh, with the blue glittery snowflakes is also five inch. And the white snowflake one is only four inch uh, that's four inch loops <laughs> um, I've got a cylinder oasis um, that I placed on top if I just grab the other one I'll show you what it looks like let me just take the candle off of it on top it has a little prong um, to stick your candle in um, so I've put glue on the underside of the cylinder oasis and glued it down. So I, again, I have got a pair. So that's what I did. And then when it was set, I stuck some aspidistra leaf just around the edge. I've not put none on the top um, because I've got a feeling I'll fill that. So uh, with it not being very big. So, uh, and I placed the, the bow on the swirly bit in the centre underneath instead of on here. So, I don't even know how tall these are. They are 18 inches high. I don't know what that is in centimetres. I'll soon tell you. Let's have a look. 46 centimetres so that's how high they are so for today what we're going to use I want to use some penny wart I've got some artificial penny wart um, and you see it outside in your gardens and I thought I could get some of it and just hang it down from here instead of getting the hanging um, vine or the hanging willow weeping willow i thought let's go for something a little bit different instead so that's what we've got as well um i had out my i've got my out my fern my rubbery texture one i had the light color and this one and i was going against the blue which one would look the better and uh, my eye kept drawing to the darker one uh, I think it's because the blues, uh, the the ribbon's dark. So we've got that as well. Um, I've got to use up some of these oddments. I mean, I don't want to start the fresh ones before I finish with the conifer. So again, I want to put some conifer in. My friend did say that she'd like, she's got two candlesticks. She'd like to put each side of a fire for Christmas. So this would be a good idea. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to use these oddments I've got in the light blue um, leaves. I'm not sure yet. I want to just see what they look like and if they look okay 
then we'll add it because I did want to add in some lighter blue as well. I didn't want it too dark. Um, I do have this as well. This is a mixture of light and dark. It's like a wheaty effect. Um, so I wanted to add some of that in also. Um, I've got some little oddments of silver and I, I think it, I don't know, I don't know if it, I don't think it's Ruskers. Um, but I can't put my finger on what it's called. Um, I've used it in fresh before, but I just can't think of the name. But we've got some little oddments of uh, silver, perhaps to go around the edging or use as filler. Now I've got these. Um, I've, there's a couple of strands. These are Ruskus. There's a couple of strands of Ruskus in there. Uh, and the rest is, well, three strands and the rest is eucalyptus. And I thought we could also incorporate those, maybe for a bit of height or movement in the arrangement. I've also got out my feathers, my glittery silver feathers. I've taken what, five, I think. Yes, five. I've, I've got five out. Um, I may not use all five, but I thought, you know, we could use those in and place as well, just for the nice texture. So I've also got out these small oddments of my silver roses. Uh, again, I don't want to use the, the other ones while I've still got some oddments. Okay, things like this, what are small, do great when it comes to using up your oddments. Uh, so we've got out the silver ro uh, rose as well. Um, I've got out some glittery blue, uh, berries. Now, these aren't oddments. That's the size of the stem they came on. Um, so they are wonderful. And with them being dark as well, I think they would look lovely. And guys, some oddments before the new stem of my wispy bits in navy or royal blue, should I say. And I thought they would add movement also with everything else. Now I have got out, um, these are what are left off a bunch, um, but before again, I start some others. Um, some poinsettias in blue with silver on the tips. So they would go nice in there, but also at the same time, I've got some dark navy ranunculus or peonies, sorry, peonies. They very much look alike, um, but I've got some navy blue, the, which will go lovely against the blue. So I can't make my mind up whether to use both or one, I'm not sure. And I've also got out, I know I've got these berries, but I couldn't make my mind up whether to have these as well, with them having the silver on in them also. So we may put both in, we may put one in. I'm not sure which one. Um, I've also got out a Christmas stag in silver. Now I'd like to place this perhaps at the front there. And I think that would look nice, sat at the front, and I, I'd cut the stem down and put it in and then bend it back upright. So I do like the idea of having the stag. Now these I'm not sure because I think it may take away uh, the elegance of it by adding some blue candy cane. But I've got them out, I thought, well, who knows, it's Christmas, the theme, let's see if they look nice. And finally, the reason I've got the dark blue uh, peonies out is because I've got my gunk. And I've cut, his, cut the stem this morning because I placed the stem up his body and glued it in, but I've cut it down because I've measured it at the side how long it needs to be. And I thought that would look Beautiful sat either in the centre or near the front. He is lovely. 
So hence the reason we've got the navy blue. So that is what we have got today. Let's just softly move them down there. Oh, and I'm expecting a delivery of the Royal Mail and they've given me between half past nine and half past one this afternoon. So I've left a note because they're not seem to be ringing the bell. So I've left a note at the side of my door, put delivery, please knock on the workshop and I've placed an arrow. So surely they can't not, not knock. So who knows? So if you hear a knock, it'll be a delivery. Right, the gonk I want to sit, let's see. Do I place him? I think he's looked better in the centre, but I don't want him flat down there. So let's get him in. Let's position him. He's really quite heavy, so I have put quite a bit of glue on. Just get that glue off the oasis and my fingers. <laughs> oh my good gracious, trick or treat last night, guys. The gentleman over the road, oh, he was fabulous. Big three foot Santa, uh, not Santa, spiders and a four foot spider spread across his house. It was Fabulous. So we'll place them there. Oh, let's just make sure he is in the centre, facing forward. So there we have it. So I want to get these in, hanging down the side, the penny wart before we go any further. And they're all different sizes. I'm going to get five. Let's just see what they look like. See, and I want the two and the rubber stems. So I'm gonna have to sort the rubber stems out. And I just, and I'm, with you having the uh, Aspidistra ribbon, you can push through it, but be careful and also remove any of you who've never used it before. Remove the glue on the outer side because you will see it. So I want there. So with it being a rubbery stem, if you can see that, dip it in your glue will melt. And as you push it in, the rubber will go up and then it gathers at the bottom. So I... There's a knock on the on the shed. One moment, guys. Oh my goodness, dear early. One moment. Yes, it was. I ordered four rolls of ribbon. Um, two in white with silver swirls. A red one with a gold swirl. This one. I adore. Navy blue with white holly. Isn't that lovely? Now, if that came earlier, I would have put that on there. But never mind, guys. Let's get those there. Oh, it's just said the guy from the Royal Mail. Oh, it's like Santa's Grotto in here. <laughs> So never mind, now where was I? Right, yes, cutting the rubber off of your rubbery uh, stems. Now I just slightly, I don't cut through all the way through, I just slightly uh, cut around the rubber and pull it off at the end. So then you're left with the wire. So that's what I do, and then the rubber will not go up. So I'm going through the side. Let's 
just get that off, glue off the aspidistra and then bend it into place. Here's a longer one. And I'm going to put the several around the bottom. And I'm pushing it in, the wire, until it reaches the rubber. Because I don't want the rubber and the, you can see the rubber and then a bit of wire. So I'm pushing it right in. And I'm only cutting off about two inches of the rubber on the bottom. Oops, it is. Because these bend in different shapes all the way to the top so you can manipulate them in any way. one at the front and I do this with any um, stem that is rubber let's just see where that can place that here may want one there so let's get a small one again before i bend it I take the glue off because it sets really quick. There. So we don't need those now. Oh, guys. Guess what I've got under here? Biscuits. Chucky biscuits. Bourbons. And I keep these here for me. I buy, I buy two sets, <laughs> two sets of biscuits of the same one in chocolate. Sometimes it may be uh, digestives, dark chocolate digestives. And I bring one in here and I stash it under here. Because if I don't do that, I won't get a look in. So I've got a stash under here. Please don't call me greedy. <laughs> it's just, I'm taking precautions. That's my, that's my answer. Us ladies have to take precautions. Let's get a few of our conifer as well. Now, because the conifer have got a nice point, I want to bring some of the conifer down here also. So 
I want to do the same thing. But I'm not taking these all the way to, to the top and hiding all because these don't bend like this. It's just the middle stem that bends. Bend that to start with. So hopefully we shouldn't get disturbed now. Because I feel so awful getting disturbed halfway through a video. Just take that slowly. Just turn in some of the leaves so they, they've got more of a, um, a look where they go down like that. Because some of them have been they're facing the opposite way. Looks like he's got a skirt. <laughs> now let me see if I've got one that will look nice at the front oops i've just pulled that one off or something yeah i'm going to put a smaller stem on that one i'm going to put that slightly higher so again i don't i'm trying not to cover the bow moment I don't think I'll wait for those I don't want to put too much of the same sort of leaf yeah let's add a few of those in really take the elastic band off <laughs> it would make it easier Again, I'm going all the way around because with it being a 360, you need to be able to see it all around. Even though it may be going up against uh, somebody's fire, I don't think that, you know, on this occasion it doesn't, you know, I still think that you should place it, even if it's just three. center oops a bit of the plastics come off
got two here. I could bring those in against the side of the gonk, so I'll hold on to those. Oh, let me just see now. I've got the gonk in about these. I could put one in to make it look like he's holding it. I could do that because I think three would be a bit too much. Yeah. So we'll just place one in. So we'll get that in as well. And we'll put it there like that so it looks like he's holding it. I'm bringing that up a little bit more. Let me take that back out, guys, and reposition it. Just take the glue off. I just placed it slightly too deep. I'm going to go with a hole at the side of where I've just been. Doesn't he look fabulous? So I don't need the blue ones. So the rain, the stag. Do I put him there? Is he hiding? I think he's slightly hiding. Maybe stick him inside the bow. We'll see. We will see. All right, let's get if I can. These are quite compact and they don't, you can't bend them down. So I'm going to do what I do with the, some of the wreaths that are like this. Just stroke them the opposite direction to bring the leaves or the wheat, should I say, down instead of being too compact. And then it will open them up. It's a bit more like that. All right, I want to cut this in two. Oops, a daisy. I'm going to have to take the bottom couple a few off because they are in the way. Because I need something as a stem. Oh, it's very cold today, very cold and windy. Yeah, we'll add a few in, as you can see here. Give it a bit of colour with the green. Again, just take the glue off. And also it could give it a different little, you know, different texture. Just 
do the same with this one. Don't need a long stem like that. I have to be careful as well because where I've glued the ribbon it will be harder to put in keep that one aside also oh my good gracious me again just go in the opposite direction to the, how they lay and that will and just stroke them down until we'll start to open them up Again, I'm just taking the ones off of the bottom to give me a bit of a stem to be able to put into the oasis. that one and save that one so I've got three in there um, let's have a look at these I think these may be too big yeah I don't like the look of those now the berries let's uh, see with the berries the difference between these Oh gosh, guys, they both look nice. If I just place a bit there. I mean, that's not where they're going, but they both look nice in there. If I have the sparkly ones down the bottom. So let me get three of those. Two, three, so I don't need those or the rubber bands come up. So I don't need those ones. So I'm going to place the sparkly ones down at the bottom. Because they've got more of a... They match more in with the ribbon. So I'm going to get this put one there. And then I'm going to place one at the back. So 
I think that looks better with those there than with those. Oh, so we'll hang on to those now. I don't want too much around the bow uh, because I want to be able to see that bow. Um, hence the reason I've not put really long things down. I mean, I could put these in as well, but bring those down the sides. But then it's, oh, I don't know. Then it starts to get quite full well, that does look nice <laughs> oh god goodness gracious me let me just slightly stick those in I will bend it do need bending again another one at the back I mean, they're not going to be sticking out that lot far, guys. Yeah, they, they will look nice in. I can get some more. I've got plenty of um, silver, so and gold, and pink, <laughs> and so on. So let's go somewhere just where I haven't been. And I'm going to bend it, bend it into place. So it's not as sticking out like it's got wings. Place that one here instead. Let's get the glue. Can also bend that. So then that looks like that at the front. It just gives it that little bit of length at the side of the bow. Do the same with this one. So that's that. Now flowers. Do I one, two, I'll just go go that way a moment. Three. I could add the blue in as well. Do I have this feeling? They both look quite nice. I don't want that one. Let's just position these so we can see. I can't. Just bend that one a moment.
I think they'd both be nice. I really do. If you look at it, guys, from your, your with the both bigger flower heads and then the darker one to represent in go. Oh, it feels lovely and soft to represent uh, the colour of what the gonk is. So I think, yeah, I think they'd all be nice. I don't know why. Why did I get four out? Because I do have these and I could place those slightly up there. A look from the front because he's important. Oh no, it don't look right from the front. So then with these baubles, just bear with me, guys. I think we we'll have to go with something like that. Right, let's get the flowers in. So we're going to have both. So we're going to go poinsettia, peony, poinsettia, peony. And that's how they're going to be placed. So let's start with the, with the peony. Now starting to go. Oh, let me make sure that's in the centre. Yeah. Now starting to go in the oasis with these. I'm not going all the way flat, I am bringing it so it's got a bit of body to it, so to speak, because I don't want it flat to the surface. Uh, it'll be look too, too flat and I want it to have a bit of movement. I want it to sit around there. Oops. Well, that one's not sitting correctly, so I'm going to have to pull that out. It's not got no wire in this peony head, so we're going to have to give it a helping hand by attaching um, some 
corsage tape. Bend in a little bit. Doesn't you look lovely? If I go quiet, guys, it's because I'm concentrating. My husband thinks it's wonderful. He asks me if I can't concentrate more often. <laughs> Cheeky thing. Right, let, we need some movement. And I want some of these up here. If I just place them lightly in. These all being because these are on paperback as well. That's being sorted. How's that? You'll need to have some a stem on or something. Yeah, because they're not going in very well. What I'm doing is I'm just placing these around to see what they're going to look like and how many I may need. Now, does that look too silly? Yeah, that don't look right. They need to be upright. And because they've got no, no stem in them, they're not, they're not sitting right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Round. Oh, oh that will go six. So let's get these on some stems. And I do that with anything that's gone paperback that because usually underneath the paper it's plastic wire and the plastic wire isn't strong enough um, to give you any, uh, to get going everything and also you can't bend it in, or manipulate it. So anything with paperback, I, you know, majority of the time I will put a pick on it because it always needs that helping hand. And then once you've got your pick on it, you can then manipulate it with your pick being wire. And then plus also it feels more secure when you put it in your oasis because it, it feels more, it's stronger and the pick's giving it more support. Um, if it's just the plastic, it, it just doesn't feel, when it comes to pushing it into the oasis, it you can't push it very far because then the, with it being plastic, this plastic stem bends. Um, so you can't get it to go further. 
as well. That's another thing that, that does happen. And plus any paper that's coming off, I always take off anyway. Even though I'm covering it, I don't want, you know, a, a loose paper underneath what's causing a bit of a, a lump underneath my corsage tape and makes it look uneven. Oh my goodness, my tummy's rumbling. I don't know why, after what we had last night. Goodness gracious me, we even had a pudding. And that's not like me, guys. Because <laughs> I don't like cooking. I really don't like cooking. Um, I can't cook. Um, but we decided, well, I decided. Um, I did a, a, a cooked dinner, you know, the roast chicken and things like that. And then after, <laughs> my husband looked astounded. Uh, after I said, you do know this pudding, don't you? You do know that I've got apple crumble and custard. Uh, it's one of my husband's favorites and also one of mine. Uh, and my husband just sat there and went, why is that? Is it because it's Halloween? <laughs> And I said, yeah, yeah, you get it once a year. <laughs> so yeah, even my children, they was all astounded when I said to them, oh, I've done, I've done uh, some pudding as well. You, you've done what, mum? There's some pudding in oven. Really? Why, you, what's made you, um, <laughs> what's made you do the pudding? Where's my mum gone? <laughs> Where's my original mum gone? My original mum never did anything like that. <laughs> I says, um, it's Halloween. I thought I'd give you some uh, a pudding for Halloween. <laughs> so all, all of them was really astounded. <laughs> so, but after all of that, we was all full and uh, as tummies, we couldn't eat anything else. As we was, as tummies were bursting. And we all went to, well, I fell asleep on the sofa early. I think it was because my tummy was so full. Um, so yeah. I told them they're not getting it again tomorrow, meaning today. So it is a one off. Now the grandma, Rita, oh, she's a fabulous cook. Much better than what I am. And her cakes and everything. Oh my goodness, they're out this world. And the stepmom, uh, oh my good gracious me. She's, she's even bought gave us some cakes and gave the you know the lads when they've gone to see the dad um come back uh with cakes and that oh my gosh she is fabulous they're not just small cakes like that guys they're like that that you just can't get your mouth around them but they are so moist they are delicious it's unbelievable and I say to my husband, how can people bake like this? <laughs> if I bake like this, you'll get a rock cake because it'll come out that hard. It'll be like a rock. But oh my gosh. So the grandma and the stepmom are fabulous at baking cakes. Me? Mm -mm. And I think if I had a go, 
They'd probably just look at it and go, what's that, Mum? And I'd say, cake. They'd probably say, that don't look like a cake. It's so thin. Because <laughs> my cakes probably wouldn't rise. Again, I am terrible. So I rely on others to bake cakes for me. So I'm just putting in now some more greenery and I'm putting in the fern. And because the fern also bends over, because I've placed these around the gonk. I thought they would look nice around the gonk. Um, to show him off, that's his, that's his frame. Um, and now I'm getting, um, I knew there was one that was a bit loose. And now I'm putting in some more greenery or the fern. And I want to bring that, I just pop it through. If I can see a bit higher up around here there's greenery at the bottom I don't want to keep putting the greenery down at the bottom I need to start bringing bits of greenery up and then also I need to bring bits of greenery up behind the gonk as well I've got a glue string on me and I just cannot see it and I can feel it so that's what I'm doing Just slightly going again, a bit higher up. Oh, I can feel it. Got it. Let's take that out. I'm going in between where where the peonies are. I just don't want I don't want it at the front too high again because I don't want I don't mind at the back. But at the front, I just don't want it covering the gonk. The gonk and the ribbon, I'm trying to avoid being covered. I'm bending them over to give them that little bit of movement as well. I'm trying to think what I could put behind there to fill that area. Yeah. I'm going to bunch a couple together. Gosh, I can feel it again. Let's see how. I'm going to have to get some black corsage tape. Oh, I found the fixed tape that I was looking for yesterday. It was right where I was looking. <laughs> I 
and I just don't know why I never spotted it. It's big enough. Right, in front of the gong, I'm going to place some glitter. Further down. Oops, there is it. So I've put a bit of glitter in front of him, the baubles, just to give a bit of sparkle let's see about I think I want some greenery at the back of him again I need one more piece. Right, I need to also do something around the bottom on the green. Oops, Aspidistra, because it's. I don't want it really full up here. So as you can see, there's gaps and that's what I want to fill. And I don't want more baubles, I don't think. No. Do I place the flowers there? Oh, I could place the silver flowers there. One. So then all the flowers are around each other. Two. Okay. Again, I'm just placing them, everybody. Because it does look quite pretty. long. Let me just cut that a little bit so I can place it back in. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Do we need any silver? I'm trying to avoid covering him up. So I've done that with the with the silver. Uh, I call them feathers at the back. I don't think I need this, do I? I don't think I'm going to put the stag on. I 
because I think it takes it away from the, again, the gonk. Let's get these roses in and then the feathers. So we'll start at the front. Again, I'm cutting the stems at a 45 degree angle, so this will go easier through the aspidistra as well. And I'm not sinking them far in. Again, I want, I want them to be just slightly sticking out. I don't want them flat. Got a bit of a gap there, I can see. So I'm going to just put these in. I place that one there. at a different angle. I've got one left. Now I've got, it's nice and full here at the front, but here, there's a gap there that something is needed. I don't want that silver. Let me just go and have a look at my balloons. I know I have oddments with everything. Oh, look at those. They are really, really bright. So, just want to, that adds a nice texture. Just place one there. I wonder if I may need, now I've done that, to balance it out, with the third, let's look for the gonk, central point, that may be it. I do have these but they you will see through those so I won't use those. 
Oh gosh, my eyes are glittered up to eyes. So I'm not putting those any more of those baubles in. I've just got it there for for the gunk. Right. I'm pushing that right down. So that's that one. So there's a space there also. I'm going to do the same with that. Push it, push the stem right in, right up to there. I know it's three inches, but I'm going to use those three inches to get it right in. So the leaves slightly bend inwards as I push it far in. So as you can see now, I've hidden that gap and that's how it looks like at the back. So then I, I need to balance it out by putting one at the front. I know I have these here, but they one is in front of the, the gonk and two either side. So it's 12. So as you're looking at it, it's uh, six o'clock, 10 o'clock and two o'clock. Now I need on, on here, I've got three o'clock, uh, 10 o'clock and two o'clock. So I need to go around the similar area. And plus I can see a little gap as well. So I could easily bring that up and place it underneath. And then that will also uh, let the baubles, uh, the berries sit on top so then they're both placed in the correct position instead of one off to the side. Put a bit of the greenery on top also. I could put four of those in. Could put another one here. Let's go even on these. Take that off. I may end up putting five in. <laughs> Hold on here. Let me just see. Let me wipe the glue off while I work it out. One, two, yeah, it has to be there. One, two. If I just place it there a moment. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'll just put four in. I think they are just at the side. So I'll put these just at the side also. Glitters all over the ribbon. And 
that one's not in the right place then. Is that comfortable? Oh, I can't get that out. It's glued solid. Let's place it back in. And then this one. So right, guys, I'm just trying to make sure it's all balanced because I noticed that something wasn't in the correct place and it didn't look balanced. See, that's bend that up. I'm trying to line the gunk up with the centre point of the bow. And I think it's this conifer what's setting me off, taking me off set. It's slightly to the right and it's not in the centre. And it's making me think, feel that everything's in the wrong position. So these down. So that needs to go under here. That's better. Let me take him out because he's not stable enough. I want to put a bit more, a bit more glue on him, quite a bit in fact, because he is very heavy. Right, let's go just off where we went and central him. So then that means them baubles are, need to be moved slightly. Stand up right, Mr. Gonk. Let's just make sure. I'm going to take that out. In fact, I'm going to put another little bit of a bauble in the centre where the gonk is. It needs to be a bit more full. There's not enough. Let me hold on to him. Where's that left bit? Yeah, it's, that's throwing me as well. Let's get this in. 
because as you can see that is on its own there's nothing at the side so that's making it look like that should be in the center but it's that's the what's in the center and it doesn't look balanced either side for your front view so hence the reason i'm trying to make sure everything's looking balanced and i'm trying to spot what it was that was making it unbalanced and so is the poinsettia the poinsettia could have been in the center but he that would have taken the look away from the gonk uh, taking up most of his body and i didn't want that so hence the reason i placed the poinsettia slightly offset and place the uh, that's better and place the uh, oh, peony there instead so it's kind of like that so now I can see just a couple more things there where's those little ones here so they will go in to hide and use as the filler. Again, I don't want nothing long at the back, too long anyway. If I can see where it is. There, that's one. I could see it there as well. That's better. Again, I didn't want to overload it with foliage. You know, the green foliage. Place that there also. I don't want any more of those in. And if I put this in, it's heavy. This isn't too heavy, but it is made of plastic. Um, so to glue that on there, that would flatten the bow. And also to put that in front of there you'd notice that because it was further further up front here the gong would but then look set back so i want i didn't want that i didn't want to put you know take the eye away from the actual uh, gong itself so and i could easily have put some more Um, greenery in again but I just didn't want it to take away from all the greenery uh, from all the greenery sorry from the gonk and the bow because they are my main focal points of the uh, candlestick holders is actually the bow and the gonk you could put a Santa there. If you've got a Santa Claus, that would be nice as well. Uh, let's take that off. <laughs> Excuse me. So by placing a Santa in and doing the colour theme of a Santa or a snowman and doing all whites, that would also be nice. Or Mrs. Claus. I've been looking for a Mrs. Claus. Uh, but I haven't seen one big enough that I want. So, but I'll find one. Again, I don't give up. So I'm just placing things back in the in the rubber band. I've got this, and that is really it today, guys.
uh, and uh, again you could do with because you've got two I've got two I could do another one you know exactly the same but this was just to give my friend you know a few ideas and what to do uh, I hope when she watches it she agrees or I'll, I'll just text her I'll just text her and say I've done a video on the, on what he was asking for <laughs> watch it <laughs> so let me just get rid of all this glitter guys I am bombarded in blue and silver glitter it is everywhere my goodness i can't enjoy doing that i might do the other one and put, bring, put them even though my color scheme isn't blue i might put them in my house i might put them at the end uh, end bottom of my stairs oh sugar oh sugar i just wiped that and it's not thinking i've got glitter all over my hands how daft. There we go. So. Just get it off my hands. Right, guys. And um, again. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the little gonk. You can get them in different colours. So, again, if you want to do a gonk and sizes, or you could get a nutcracker and place the nutcracker in on as well. Glue it down. Anything like that, or put a, uh, a pick on it and, I don't know, up its body or up its armpit, anything like that, so it stays in your uh, oasis. You could do that. And uh, put a a nice bow at the bottom as well uh, any color it doesn't have to be a christmas theme it could just be for a, you know an all year round theme as well and um yeah and have fun doing it and just uh, make it look uh, sparkly or or you know non sparkly you know it to your own choice really so um a nice cream one would look nice cream and, and like a tan with hessian and things like her ribbon and things like that would be nice uh, oh gosh all ideas come in my head so um, again I hope you enjoyed that and um, I sure did and uh, please subscribe and share and uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, a like and let us know uh, you know what you thought about it um, I've got a feeling Julie um, Hodgkins would like it because she likes the blues and um, but again give it a go because I know you're all capable guys I know you can do it I don't want to hear that you can't uh, because I know that you're all wonderful people and whatever creations you do whether it be big small extremely large uh, tiny I know that you're all wonderful at you what you're doing and um, I always say, you start that ladder climbing up, welcome to the florist world, you are immediately brilliant. Brilliant for starting it, there you go. So again, give it a go. Um, I'm just going to run off now to get myself a, a cup of coffee and a few of my bickies. Yeah, a few of my bickies. And uh, then I've got to crack on with some work. So uh, I'll put my ribbons away. And then I've got other things to do in here. So uh, hence my sister-in-law's uh, garland and things like that. So yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And I hope you uh, take care, stay safe, and be good, and be wonderful, and be creative. Enjoy, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.